mention it all. Mention it all. Goodbye, Kyle. Who's calling who a frog? Love you, baby. Bye. Hello, Beverly Troop. Welcome back. I'm the real Andy of Beverly Hills, and welcome to another piece of tea of the day or night in this case, like that moon, guys. If you want a close up of that moon, go and watch my video that I upload today where we talk about Lisa Rena. Girl, I did a close up with my Samsung, which is amazing. And you, this moon, it's beautiful. Anyways, um, I completely forgot what we were talking about. We weren't talking about nothing. Let's talk about this tea. It is time to talk about the real housewife of New Jersey. But before we get into it, do not forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Do it right now. If you are new here and you want to join the very troop, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Hit the notification bell, guys. We are on our way to 30K. So if you want to join the family where I give you the tea, from every single part around the world. Right now I'm in Athens and tomorrow I'm leaving for a new place where we're having new adventures. You know what to do. And let's talk about this mess. Grr. Uh, it's so hard when Melissa tries, Melissa Gorga tries so hard to go against Teresa. You know, it kind of really put me or put us in a situation where we want the family to be successful and the family to be nice to each other and you know to behave or we just want to defend Teresa like I don't understand why she have to go around doing these kind of things and then she fucking goes and says that she doesn't know why she wasn't part of the wedding why she wasn't a bridesmaid or the maid of honor bitch I can't um so Melissa Gorga and Joe Gorga because that's the other thing I'm betting you 100% that Melissa is dragging Joe okay I'm putting this seat on his head and this is not gonna be nice or cute and why for what honestly Melissa Gorga you know on her podcast I think it's called on display or something like that um he was she was talking with Joe Gorga about Teresa you know and about being you know everything that that went down and at some point she and Joe start saying that they think uh, Melissa and Joe Gorga says that Teresa should be grateful that they stay on the Real Houses of New Jersey and that and film Teresa's check-ins. Otherwise, her daughters will not have continued living in their home or had food to eat why you know so basically they're saying and 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 the worst part is that joe gorgon now is messing you know with this is getting into the drama you know and he's he was saying like oh you're being nice honey you are being nice you know and like it wasn't like that you know and she they, they went on to say that uh when Teresa went to jail that Joe Gor Joe Judas couldn't provide for their daughters, that he didn't have any money, that you know they had to be there to basically feed the girls, you know, and like to be there for them. And that thanks to Melissa to keep filming, you know, and bringing the new girls like Siggy and Margaret and, and, and the other girls, you know, that they kept that she kept the show going. And that, she, and that Teresa should be grateful to her and to them for keeping the show and bringing new girls while they wait for her to come out of jail. Excuse me? Didn't Bravo stop the Real Housewives of New Jersey for a little bit over a year waiting for Teresa Judice to come out of jail so they could actually keep filming like if you guys really remember that uh season it was just like a couple episodes before um Teresa actually uh went out of jail and how dare you 
using that for what? If you're gonna help someone, especially family, during a hard time, you keep that to yourself, okay? You do not come here and use any help. I don't know if they have to pay for their food. I don't know if Joe Judah didn't have a penny and they have to pay for, I don't know, the bills or food or whatever. You do not take any of that, okay? And put it on display for the whole world to hear it just because you're having an altercation especially if you are family how dare they do something like that i think and i love joe gorga more than melissa i like melissa but i really love joe gorga and i'm feeling that he is getting melissa he is letting melissa get into her his brain and brainwash him to go against Teresa for what? That's his only family. They don't have more brothers, they don't have more sisters, they don't have their parents, they only have each other, okay? Why is Melissa so jealous of this? Why instead of actually trying to have a, a relationship with Teresa, she will do something like this? I can't. I have to say that this is one of the most disgusting things that I have ever seen and it makes me very sad that Joe Gorga is allowing himself to put to to do this stuff to Teresa you know and then they cry why Teresa doesn't love me why Teresa doesn't invite me to the wedding why Teresa doesn't like you know they are a couple of beach boys, you know, they are, and no, it's not nice, it's not nice, and I hope that they apologize, you know, because this is not what is, what they should be talking about, and second of all, baby girl, go talk to Bravo, go talk to Andy Cohen, okay, it was a consent that they wait till Teresa was very close to get out of jail so they could of course film her getting out of jail okay and put it on the show because everyone wanted to know what it was going to be Teresa's future okay everyone was so invested so either even ugh, either either oh my god Latino moment guys either if you like it or not this has been the Teresa Judah show from season one and still is, you know. Yes, we now we have more people that we like, you know, Jennifer Aiden, Dolores Catania, you know. Um, that's pretty much it. But <laughs> uh, you know what I mean? So it is what it is. And the fact that their jealousy, and I'm so sorry, but I'm pretty sure that this is all coming from Margaret at some point maybe i don't know it's just like i'm so confused when it comes to new jersey because everyone is so fucking jealous all the time and it's getting to be annoying and they're gonna let their families get destroyed basically become like the gorgas and the guaquiles that they hate each other for what why is melissa allowing this you know I can and then using that information even if it's true or not using that if it's true is if it's false shame of them for you know making up lies and if it's true fucking disgusting behavior because you do not do like that if you are going out there saying that you are a good person that you love everyone that you are an amazing human being for helping people you do not go disclosing this kind of secret to the world just to get a piece of the show that's the thing that i have to say so anyways let me know what you guys think in the comments below and like always don't forget to like this video share this video subscribe to my youtube channel and i'll see you around see ya bye